Your Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, great party men and women. My name is Senator Professor Ben Ayade, the Governor of Cross River State. I have come here to share my thoughts. This is a great opportunity for our delegates to make a choice of the future of this country. I present myself as a great intellect with a long-standing background in academics, in the Senate, and now as governor. I understand the challenges of a third world economy. I understand the security challenges of this nation with the concept of Afghanistanism, the collapse of Afghanistan, and the ambition of ISWAP and Boko Haram to take over Nigeria, recognizing our vast natural resource. It is obvious clearly that there's also an international connectivity, iconoclastic of some sort, with a conspiratorial theory that the vast wealth of the coal deposit, diamond and platinum that we have, with the concomitants of our challenges, they believe that opportunity has come for them to colonize Nigeria and to drive out Christians and Muslims alike because they believe that their God-given territory is the West African province. As a country, we must be united by the resolve to address the security challenge of this nation. Therefore, my proposal when I become president of this country to use a satellite videography because the use of the contact approach, the physical military approach is insufficient in a modern warfare. Nigeria at this point, therefore, will require a defense pact of a known occupation origin, a defense pact to share military intelligence, a defense pact that would allow you opportunity to use unoccupied drone technology for the attack of terrorists. We must realize that I am the governor of Cross River State who refused to sign the anti grazing law because I thought it was offending the traits of headsmen. I am one governor who has stood and have united this nation. I am one governor who believes in the fact that this country can only be united if we address the challenges of our security system. The most critical aspect as well is education and agriculture. The moral miasma and decadence that have characterized our university system occasioned by the failed structure due to poor remuneration has, of course, dovetailed into a challenge where young people come out of university without the cantianics, without the morality, without the kinetics of good conscience. I come as a professor with a long-standing experience who will bring back education, restore the glory and value and dignity of knowledge. All over the world, all over the world, the world has migrated into technology and knowledge-driven administration. Nigeria cannot be different. I present myself as a young man who shares the enthusiasm of a youth, but the wisdom of a 60-year. I'm an old head on young shoulders. I have education, I have exposure. I have worked with a system, I'm a system purifier. I believe that this country must show that the black man does not think from the stomach. If you put your vote and commoditize your vote and put a value to it, you have mortgage your future. I come believing that the delegates will be worried about the future of their lives, the future of their children. I present myself as that firebrand, that catalytic power source that will create that opportunity where this country will realize that, yes, indeed, you have young men. In Cross River today, I have the garment factory, a pharmaceutical factory, a rice factory, a cocoa factory, a vegetable oil factory, Kalachika. I have a feed processing mill, and the list is endless. I have done so because I know job creation is at the basis of the peace and unity of this nation. I present myself in the absence of trying to impress you with how much money, but I present myself as somebody who has shown capacity, and I hope to show that capacity at the national level. God bless us all as I charge your conscience to vote for the future of this country and not vote for the pocket of today. Thank you and God bless. Thank you.